Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the grand opening of the Better Fitness System Studio and Forever Living Studio as well. Uh, I'm very excited to see you all here today. My name is Dalva Petrovic and uh, I'm a guy responsible for all this that you see right here, together with my very dear friend Denise Hammonds. <laughs> so our goal, our goal is to work together and to try to do what I so far think is going to be a very, very challenging task, and that is to elevate the health level of the people who live in Italy. I must, I must admit I was very surprised and shocked when I came here with the fitness level of the people. I was very enthusiastic, you know, when I was coming here, I was thinking, okay, the weather is beautiful, the perfect climate, so everybody's going to be fit, exercising all day, and it's going to be an amazing working place for me. But then I came here, and it was a cold slap. But uh, it's a very big challenge for me, and I'm always looking forward to challenges, and that's why it's going to take a lot of work and a lot of education, but I'm looking forward to it, and I hope to see you uh, soon again, because we're going to, I'm going to be holding a lot of different seminars, health related, nutrition related, and training related. Uh, I always have to control myself when I do seminars like this that are general health related because I want to tell you so much and we don't have that much time. We need to spend days here. So I try to just put everything in a small bubble, give you the most important data, and then in a, uh, when we do specific seminars then we can go in more detail. So a little about me, I've been in the fitness industry for 15 years, I've been training myself for 20 years, I've tested hundreds of different training programs and trains on myself and my personal training clients. I specialize in personal training and small group training, meaning that the maximum number of people I work with is four. <coughs> Why is that? I'm going to explain to you in a minute. Uh, my training system basically it's a combination of mind, body and spirit in one. So a lot of people uh, ask me what is better fitness system. So basically that's what it is. It's mind, body and spirit combined in one. If you just work on your mind, you're not working on your body, you are not fit. If you're just working on your body, you're not only working on your mind, you are not fit. So it has to be a combination of all three. Fitness. When you type in fitness in the Google, you basically get as many search results as you would type in one. So that's not a good thing. Why? Because 90% of the information that you see online is false. 90% of the information that you see in the newspapers is false. And same things with television. Why is that? Whoever controls the media controls the people. And whoever controls the media doesn't want you to be healthy or fit. Why? Because if you are healthy and fit, they cannot make money with you. They cannot sell you drugs, they cannot sell you medication, they cannot sell you all these weight loss products and no-nonsense diets that don't work. So the goal is to constantly bombard you with false information, give you just some little bit of results in short term, but in the long term you're getting actually better and sicker. So they constantly, constantly keep you in the loop. Diets don't work, as most of the women found out. Your body is a perfect and amazing machine. It will adapt to everything. If you keep it under calorie for more than two or three days, it will go into survival mode it will start storing food as fat and start breaking down the muscles. So when you go on a diet, for the first couple of days you stand on a scale, oh I lost 5 pounds, you're happy. Actually you just lost water and some muscle. After a month or two, because there is no way you can be on a diet for more than 2 months, you slowly start eating food again, because you deprived your body. And what happens? You gain the weight back. Then you are 
kind of pissed off at yourself. So you go on even more strict diets. What happens? You stay on it. You know, you try to be strong, you get the support and everything. After a month or two, you come back to the eating habits you had before. Why no diets work? Primary reason why you are not, you don't have the body you want, or you're not healthy, is not in the food. It's here. It's in your mind. If you're not happy with yourself, if you don't have your inner peace, you will never have your ideal body. Never. Why are these high intensity training programs so popular right now? Because people go to them, they start losing quick weight, and they think that's the answer. But the following day, they still return to the problem. So you are stressed out, you're going to do a workout, you feel fine. But tomorrow, you're still going to do the same thing that makes you stressed. If you have a headache, you take an aspirin, right? You don't want to think about why I have a headache. So imagine if you're hitting your toe with a hammer. Do you take some medication and continue to hit your toe with a hammer or you stop hitting your toe with a hammer? So we are always trying to find some shortcuts. But we need to find the cause of the problem. What caused the problem? Why are we in the state that we are in today? 90% of the people and 90% of you here right now are not breathing properly. You are breathing from your second breathing system, the chest. And that breathing system activates every time you are under stress. Right now you are not under stress, but you are so much under stress for the big period of your life that you naturally adapt this breathing. But the breathing should be from here. Try breathing 8 seconds, 4 seconds inhaling and 8 seconds exhaling. Try doing that for a minute too. You're going to be tired. And you're just breathing, you're not doing anything. So that's just one little thing. It's just breathing. It's something we do 20,000 times a day. Something normal, we don't even think about it. But that connects to the posture, that connects to the health issue, and with everything else. When you're 15, when you're 20, no problem. You can jump off the building. 30, slowly starting to appear some issues. 40, and then what you're thinking? I'm getting older. I must feel pain in my knees, in my back. I must be overweight. You don't have to. You don't have to. You can be healthy with your, when you're 70 or 80, if you take care of your body. But you have to understand that fitness is a lifelong journey. It's not some short-term program, four weeks, six weeks, eight weeks. When people ask me, how long should I pay for? For the rest of your life. For the rest of your life. You can never stop. You can never stop. You only have one body. You cannot replace it. Right? Just one body. We don't get another one in this life. And we always say health is the most important thing. Well, it's not. People are lying. Because if it's the most important thing, why are you in this health condition that you are right now? Let's look at people around, not just here in this room, on the street. 80% of people are overweight, close to obese. Kids. Look at the kids. 10, 12, 15, all the way. The new generation is coming and they are going to be mentally and physically damaged people. The, the internet industry is growing so fast. We are spending our major part of the day sitting in front of the computer. Every time you sit, your brain sends a message to the body. I don't need the muscles. It's shutting off the muscles. The longer you sit, sicker you become. They say that the sitting is the new smoking. That's how bad it is. Now, we all have mobility issues just because of that. So when I, when I say people, okay, come to my first class, let's do a sport. <clears throat> how many of you can do this? Without losing balance, without lifting the heels. And this is our natural position. In some countries, this is the position that people eat work in the field. In this position, your intestine and your bowel is in the natural form. So this is the healthiest position and this is the position you should spend time. 
So our goal is primarily to be comfortable in this position and then with time to come to 30 minutes of spending in this position without moving. When you come home, try this for 30 seconds. It's going to be very hard. And now imagine you cannot do this and you decide you want to lose weight. And what do you do? You sign up for a group class, boot camp or crossfit or some other crazy American fitness regimen because you heard from a friend, it's awesome, they are killing us, we cannot walk the other day. Right? And you cannot even squat. So you find yourself in a group with 50 or 20 other people who are all different ages and different gender. And you are all doing the same routine. Each and every one of you here is different. No two persons can do the same program. That's why group training programs for more than four people cannot be successful. Not just that. They can be very, very dangerous. Very dangerous. But again, we are, what I said before, health is very important to us. No, it's not. Because we are always looking for the cheapest option. Right? I always say to people, you are going to spend your money in your lifetime, no matter what. It's your choice. Are you going to spend on health or are you going to spend it on something that's not so healthy? There is no third option, you know? You are going to spend your money. So it's only the question of how important is your health to you. For some, it's not a problem going for dinner, spending 100 euros for dinner. But spending 100 euros for their sales, for healthy food or something, it's a lot. So you see, it's just a switch in the mindset, you know? It's basically switching to what is expensive, sickness or health, in the long term, <coughs> right? Every day when I walk to the beach, I see these people that come on the vacation. 10 hours a day under the sun. I understand, you come from, they, most of them come from the UK, it's rainy there, it's bad weather, they want to catch some sun, and that's okay. What's the problem? They put a ton of sunscreen. And what is sunscreen? It's poison. It's chemicals. What is the largest organ on your body? Your skin. Whatever you put your skin on your skin, it comes into your bloodstream. Sun doesn't cause skin cancer. Sunscreens do. Remember that. Remember that. A lot of people don't know about it. Ladies, even men, but ladies, of course, uh, more because you use perfumes. What's that? Alcohol, chemicals. You put it directly here to your lymph nodes, right? You put antideodorants here, which has aluminium chlorohydrate, which is linked to breast cancer, directly here. You're not sweating, right? It's good. No. You clogged up your pores, so the toxins stay inside. Let's not talk about makeup. Let's not talk about hair dyeing. It's all chemicals that enter in your body. You know, people don't think about it. What about food? We can, we're going to have a special seminar just about food. Just when I see all this around me, <laughs> I have low energy already. Uh, food, yeah, it's uh, again. Oh, it's, it's, no, it's okay. But uh, food is such a big problem. And uh, nothing makes me more sad than when I see how young children eat these days. And it's don't get don't take this personally, but it's the parents' fault. Because they don't educate them. They start when they're young giving them sugar, uh, giving them all this junk food, candies, and their brain starts to get addicted. There is one thing worse than cocaine, it's sugar. It's so addictive and people cannot get off it for the rest of their lives. We all like chocolate, we all like cakes, but try to get off it for, for a month. You'll be like junkie of, of me, trust me. You have breaks and you try, but as, there's a program called 30 day cleanse. If you make it 30 days without refined sugars, you, you won't have any cravings after that. So that's another thing we're gonna talk about as well on some of the other sectors. But, let's, Let's discuss when they say you are what you eat, <laughs> right? C, carbonated drinks. I saw you were drinking the soda right now. Yeah? Do you know how bad is the soda? Mm -hmm. It's
it's very, very bad. It takes the calcium out from your bones. <laughs> Seriously. R, refined sugars. Again. The simplest thing that you can start doing right now that will change the quality of your life is this. Start reading the damn nutrition facts from the back of your products. You would say this is just an iced tea, right? One and a half liter. How much sugar is inside? 66. 115 grams. 115 grams of sugar. In this. You know? But you know how they go about it. They are smart. They don't write the whole amount. They just write the amount in 100 milliliters. Who drinks 100 milliliters of iced tea? You know, that's how basically they trick you. And then you have all this gluten nonsense, you know, then, then, then they start putting for, uh, no gluten sign in products that never had gluten. You know, ice cream, no gluten. And then just on like, rice, no gluten. It never had gluten. It's just, you know, people see, see the sticker, you know, they buy. That's how they manipulate the people and it pisses me weird, it very pisses me off. And that's why I try to have these seminars as much as I can back in my gym in my country. And I'm going to try to do this here as well to educate people because you're being lied to on a daily basis. You're being brainwashed by the newspapers, by the internet, by the TV. But there will be a stop to that. There is a new era coming and we need to open our minds and we need to start realizing what we are capable of. Because we are fatter and sicker than we ever were before, which is a nonsense with all this information we have in 2015. We should all be super fit, you know. Isn't that crazy? Mm -hmm. So much information to have. Anyway, so artificial sweeteners, when people buy uh, sugar-free gums, sugar-free coke, everything, most of them have aspartame, which is a, one of the deadliest artificial sweeteners around. People see sugar-free. If it's sugar-free, it cannot be healthy. It means if they take on something, they need to put something in place. If it's fat-free, it cannot be healthy. Most of the fat-free products have sugar inside because that's how they add flavor. Because you take the fat out, you take the flavor out, you know? But people buy it because, they, oh, look, this is fat-free. Fat is not the problem. The problem is refined sugars and wheat. White wheat, which is being so poor, that it has nothing to do with the wheat that was 50, 60 years ago. So when you buy that nice warm bread for one euro in Kogram, it's like you're eating stones. All bread, if you're not making yourself, is junk. Everything that is, has white flour is junk. It's poison you're putting in your body on daily basis. And as I said, if you're 15, but even now, look at these kids. They are 15, they are not healthy. But if you're 15, you can get away with it. 20, yeah. But as you get older, all this rubbish is being inside of your body. And it's getting bigger and bigger. And then what people do, oh, I've heard of those detox. It's very good. I'm going to fix myself in seven days. It doesn't work like that. You cannot clean your body in seven days. So clean, to cleanse your body, it will take a lot, lot more. It will take a lifestyle change. Because what, when people do detox for seven days, they eat, I don't know, five, six hundred calories, or maybe they don't eat nothing, they just have uh, juices or anything. What happens after seven days? Okay. Exactly. Can you imagine the deficit they created? Yeah, but that's, that's the idea that you don't do that. But they're going to be, you know, they're going to be so, so hungry, you know. So the goal is always to eat properly, always train. Now, every time I mention healthy eating, people are like, oh my god, healthy eating, it's not, it doesn't mean restriction, we have to get it out of our heads, you know? I personally, she can testify, I eat so much food, it's a joke. But I use a system which is basically called intermittent fasting, where I don't eat before 1. So, I never eat breakfast, I start eating at 1, and I finish at 9 in the evening. In that period of 8 hours, if I want to have 2 or 3 meals, I can. And I don't worry, sometimes I have pizza, I have pasta, whatever I desire, I have cake. You know? Why? Because in that other 16 hours, my body is cleansing itself from the inside. And it's using the fat that it has 
to give me the energy. Mm -hmm. And anyway, from the 16 hours, 8 hours, you're going to be asleep anyway. So basically, for 8 hours, realistically, you are posting, you know. That's just one way. Another way can be one day you eat, second day you don't eat anything. That's another way of fasting. So all these different methods are very, very effective. But as I said, fasting is what our body is naturally designed for. For years and years they were telling us, eat five or six small meals throughout the day, right? Speed up your metabolism. But that was a lie. Because in that time, your body cannot rest and cannot do its work of cleaning itself from the inside. Because if it was working, we would all be fit now, right? Everybody was trying to eat every two days. Oh my God, I'm going to lose muscles if I don't do it. It's a lie, you know? We haven't, our body haven't changed for two, three thousand years when we were hunting, you know, in the Stone Age when we were hunting for animals. So from there we have to learn something. You know, you, you didn't wake up before and immediately you had breakfast. Before, you know, you needed to hunt for that food, right? And then you sat down, and you ate, and you fell asleep. <laughs> right? Yeah, but that's it. Don't be afraid of a big dinner if you haven't had breakfast. That's where you're supposed to eat because when, when you eat, you need to uh, release to, uh, the, the parasympathetic system so you can sleep. When you sleep properly, your body recovers. Your muscles recover. That's when you recover. When you train, you don't get muscles, you break them. That's what people, 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 most people don't understand. You recover when you sleep. You get better when you sleep properly. You know? Testosterone, hormone, everything starts releasing there. So deep sleep is very, very important for any goal. It doesn't matter if you train or not. So is that why okay. we hurt the next day after we train? Yes, yes. Especially if you don't sleep good. <laughs> and the P is for processed foods. The simplest explanation for people, when people ask about food, I say, if you see a commercial of it, don't buy it. That's the simplest I can tell you. If man made it, don't buy it. Of course, we live in the world where everything is high speed and it's much easier to grab a sandwich or something, right, than to prepare your own food. Uh, fortunately, there is a solution for that and it's called uh, Tupperware. It's one of those glass sealed <laughs> boxes that you buy and that you make your own food with the night before. And then the next day, conveniently, you can take it with you to have lunch. Of course, you can choose the foods that are going to be delicious cold as well. So you don't have to, you know, look for microbe because microbe is also something you should be avoiding. So you can make salad, tuna salads. You can make some something that uh, eggs that can be eaten uh, cold as well. Beans, you know, some of this stuff that can be eaten cold, but they are still tasteful. And you take them with you if you work until four or five, like most people do. Ideally, it will be for you to be at home for lunch, and then you prepare yourself lunch. But we have to be realistic, we don't live in that kind of world. So it's preparation. Start thinking, okay, what am I doing tomorrow? What is my schedule going to look like? I always like to people, consider fitness as a business. Your health is the most important business that you need to do. That's it. You have your weekly schedules and you do this. Excellent. Three times a week I need to do workout. I need to. There's nothing that can replace it. I'm cheating myself if I get away from it. I try to eat healthy 80% of the time. I will eat cake, I will eat pasta, I will eat pizza. But only if I deserve it. If I stay at home, watch television every day, all day, I don't deserve it then, right? If I was active all day, if I was exercising, I deserve it. And I'm happy. I gave myself a reward. I'm not starving myself. I'm not like, you know, because the worst thing is to eat this and feel guilty about it. Then you bring in negative emotions. The best thing is not to eat it. The second best thing is eat it and enjoy it. That's it. That's, what, that's, that, that's everything you need to know about nutrition, you know? Don't bring in negative emotions. What food do you crave when you are stressed out? You don't crave broccoli, right? <laughs> you crave junk food. Exactly, exactly. So every time you're stressed out, bum bum. Now, if you're very, very blessed and have amazing genetics, you can get away with it. We all know those kind of people that are like this. They eat junk their whole lives, they don't gain fat. 
We, yeah. She also, <laughs> yeah. It's great, amazing the genetics, you know. But for most people, it doesn't happen that way. For most people, it stores the fat and they get bigger and bigger and bigger. As I said, we cannot avoid the lifestyle we're living, we cannot avoid the stress, but we can change the way we deal with stress. And that's also a very big part of the problem, a uh, very big part of the problem and something that I uh, work from the first session with my clients. What caused the state that you are in? It's not the food, it's not the lack of exercises. You are unhappy. State mind. You are unhappy and until you admit it yourself, until you start working on yourself from the inside, you will never be happy. You will never be on your ideal weight. It doesn't matter if you can be on 100 diets, you can train like mad. If you're not with your inner peace from the inside, you will never be happy from the outside. And why are we so unhappy? What do you think? Why are we so unhappy? Because right now we are living in an era, in an age, which is not natural to us. We are not designed to sit in an office, to be in the closed spaces. We are designed to be outside, on the sun, in the nature, in the woods. That's what we are. That's our natural happiness. And that's why we are so happy, because we are, they have distanced us so much from our natural place of living. And constantly, constantly they are caught up with all this Informa information is keeping us sicker and fatter. But as I said, there is a big conscious change right now happening in the world and people are slowly starting to wake up. They are realizing, listen, something is not right. You know? Something is not right. Why am, I, why am I not happy? You know? Why? Why don't I spend time more with the people I love? Why is it just for Christmas? You know? But people always ask me, why you don't celebrate Christmas? I don't like it because it, it, it represents everything that's fake, you know? If I want to be with my family, I'll be. Why I have to be in one specific day of the year? I'll be whenever I want, you know? But that's the day when everybody is saying, oh, how are you? And then for the next year, they don't bother anything. Isn't that a little bit, huh? So we need to change our mindsets. Let's find out how we can be happy in general, right? Not today, of course, it's, it's a long story, but <laughs> our goal is to work on that. When we are happy, when we are fulfilled from the inside, when we have positive energy, and most importantly, when we stop caring what other people think about us, that's when we can start being happy. Everybody has that issue, I'm constantly seeing that. Everybody always, even if they say they're not, they are they get offended or emotional if somebody doesn't like them or doesn't think right about them. And that's wrong. The only opinion you sh it should matter is your own. Remember that. None of other people matter. It may sound selfish, but trust me, you have to love yourself in order to love other people. You have to, you know. And there's so much, so many people are living basically for other people, you know, and they're just like, giving a sacrifice, but that's wrong because you're wasting your own life trying to make someone else happy and in the process you're making yourself unhappy. Love yourself, work on yourself and then everything, all the energy around you will attract the right kind of people. Yeah? Because that's another issue, I mean, love and relationship. We can also talk about that in the same part, said, but as I said, I already explained it too much. Uh, all right, so I will make a printout for all of you, for all of you to have this, so you can remember what is CRAP. Uh, okay, just to close up, what is your health worth? Give me a number. What is your health worth? Health worth? Or yeah, health, health worth. How much is it worth? What is your health worth? Give me a number. How much oh. does it cost? Ten. What then? Ten what? Thousand. Ten thousand? Yeah. <laughs> ten out of ten. Exactly. <laughs> it has no price. You cannot put a price on your health. It doesn't come with a health tag, right? So the most important project you will work on is you. It's your health and your happiness. If there is one thing to take away today from this seminar, forget about the 
full day, we can say, is to awaken your mind and to start working on yourself. I will be more than happy to see you here in the, in the gym for training. But even if you don't come for training, it's okay. Start working on your mind. Just start doing something. Start doing something <coughs> that will change you. Because right now you are here and you are not happy. You are not fulfilled with the way you live. But if you are in that state a long time, you will start accepting that as the reality. As like, it's okay to be unhappy. But it's not. Every day you spend unhappy, unhappy basically is a day wasted. And life goes, as you know, like this, you know. So our goal is to be happy, work on ourselves. And that's all I have to say about that. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, uh, so uh, my... Uh, my... Uh, my way of training is, as you can see, there are no machines, there are no weights, we, we use your own body weight, because most of you have a lot of it. <laughs>